Ladies and gentlemen, Austin Reeves made an unbelievable claim today. It was really breaking news. Austin Reeves states that he could have been drafted by the Detroit Pistons, but he did a lot of different things to navigate himself to the Los Angeles Lakers. Could you imagine Austin Reeves as a Piston? We're going to get into everything, y'all. Reeves is the talk of the town. You know, he just dropped in Los Angeles and damn that took it over. You know, shout out to Austin Reeves, man. He This man, he, he's paid. We're going to get into everything. We thought Reeves was going to be headed all, all over. We just maybe San Antonio, maybe, you know, we're going to get into everything. But one thing's for sure, two things for certain. He is a Los Angeles Laker for the foreseeable future. And he just said that he could have been drafted number 42 overall by the Detroit Pistons in the 2021 NBA draft. You know, um, I think that would have definitely been crazy if he could have did that. Could you imagine him with Cade Cunningham? You know, um, if you've been living under a rock, that 2021 draft, you know, was loaded, you know, headlined by Mr. Cade Cunningham. Jalen Green went number two in that draft. Evan Mobley went number three. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe for more Austin Reeves content, more Los Angeles Lakers news and updates. Also, you had Scotty Barnes going number four. I'll give the, the top 10 picks of this draft. You had number five, Jalen Suggs to the Orlando Magic. Josh Giddy going number six to the Oklahoma City Thunder. You had Jonathan Kuzminga going to the uh, Golden State Warriors. Franz Wagner going to the Orlando Magic. And Davion Mitchell headed to the Kings at nine. And Zaire Williamson, uh, he was actually traded to the uh, Memphis Grizzlies at number 10. And I got to just go throw in this guy, James Booknight, number 12, Joshua Primo. Now, I say of some of these names to say that Austin Reeves should have been a top 10 pick in this draft, clearly. As I'm looking at Booknight, I'm looking at Zaire Williams, uh, Franz Wagner, he's a good player, Jonathan Kuzmenga, uh, Suggs. You know, I start to look at these names, and I'm like, oh, I wait, I don't know. But it would have been crazy if you could have paired a Cade Cunningham with Austin Reeves. I, I'm just keeping it all the way real with you. Could you imagine if they could have done something like that? Because I think that accelerates the, the process of a guy like Cade Cunningham. We all know that he's dealing with a lot of things. He only played 12 games, you know, uh, the last time we seen him. He averaged 19 points per game, shot 41% from the field, 30, I mean, pardon me, 27% from three, which I expect that to elevate. Uh, six assists per game, eight, eight rebounds. So clearly this guy is poised to be a jack of all trades. He's six, seven. He would have been able to deliver the bat basketball to Austin Reeves, but who knows how much he would have played, you know, but I got to give him credit, man. He he said, heck, heck no. Now, you got to think about the, the history of guys in Detroit. What, what, what longevity um, is in Detroit? You know, seriously. Um, now, with the addition of what's happening, is a change. But Detroit fans have to keep it real. Just like Knicks fans. It was a point in time where the Knicks were just, just not a feasible franchise. And if you're the Detroit Pistons, if you some of these teams where your team look like it's doom and gloom, there's no hope, there's no light at the end of the tunnel, you have to acknowledge that basically... That these guys, you know, um, can get it done. If the Knicks can do it, your team can do it. You know, because they turned it around in the Mecca. Now, I know the Pistons could turn it around. They brought in this new, the new coach, Monty Williams. It, but we got to understand something. This guy, Reeves, would have never experienced Monty Williams out the gate. He would have been dealing with um, Dwayne Casey, who actually elevated in the front office. Um, Casey does have a belong in the NBA. He, t he, he, he took a raw deal in Toronto. He ended up coming to Detroit and getting railroaded. I mean, he, he, it was not the situation for him, but he wanted to coach so bad. But Dwayne Casey needed to be running the team that's ready for championships like he was in Toronto, where he was knocking on the door, but kept getting the door shut because of LeBron James. He never got the opportunity to see the Eastern Conference through without LeBron. And and I will always give Dwayne Casey that um, because none of these coaches would have beat LeBron the way he was playing in Cleveland. But for whatever reason, Casey took a bad rap, but that's neither here nor there. Austin Reeves would have changed life and accelerated the developmental process 
for the Detroit Pistons. I don't know if he would have turned into this guy that who he has become. You know, um, Austin Reeves, ladies and gentlemen, played 64 games last year. He averaged 13 points per game. He shot 52% from the field, 39% from three. That's just ridiculous. You know, um, three rebounds, three assists. You heard LeBron James tell you about this 25-year-old kid that this guy is basically, you know, have a lot of dog. He has a lot of dog in him. He's 6'5". You know, he's got that vibe, that energy where he ain't going to back down. He heard him. He said, I'm him. I'm him. I'm him. So this is the kind of this is the kind of player that he is, that he believes he is. You know, and, I, and, I, and when a guy want to show you who he is, you need to believe him. Austin Reeves, man, is the truth. He's poised for another breakout year. It's going to be interesting to see where he goes from here. Because I think the Reeves situation last year, it just took a, it was like a Cinderella story. He almost had a Jeremy Lin moment, you know, uh, where everybody was just, oh my God, defenses didn't know how to game plan for this kid. Nobody looked at Reeves like, oh man, we got to deal with him. And and I got to give him credit because in the playoffs, he was putting the ball on the floor. He was becoming a playmaker and taking an increased role with the basketball team. And now he got he got his new shoes out. He got LeBron basically instilling him with nothing but confidence. You got Anthony Davis. I think the Lakers are going to be a dangerous team and a force to be reckoned with off the fact of this guy, Austin Reeves. He wanted to be in Los Angeles. Now, a lot of people wanted to be in L.A., but he's not discussing the glitz, the glamour, the movies, the off-the-court opportunities. He's talked about the best fit for him on the court, and it had to be the Lakers. And this is something that he said, which was huge, and I don't want it to go over nobody's head. You know, basically, he said that he knew that it was a market for a two-way. And you got to understand something. Like guys like Marquise Noel, he didn't get drafted. He took the two-way. You understand? So I'm looking at it like, okay, you could, you, you, you don't have to. You, number 42, you wasn't going to get a, a contract like a first rounder. You're going to sign a two-way contract. Same thing that you would sign if you went undrafted. So Reeves understood business. Understood, he betted on himself. Shout out to his agent who pulled this off. To get them to LA instead of because who wouldn't have wanted to hear their name called? I don't care if it was from whoever you understand, um, whether it was the commissioner or the other guy that comes there, the deputy, whatever you understand, he would have. They all want to hear their names called, you know, and it feels just the same like it was Adam Silver, like it was David Stern. Well, it don't matter if, you, if your name is called out of them 60, it, 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 I'm telling you, it's, it, it's, it's a heart wrencher, and Reeves threw that to the side to go to L.A. on a two-way undrafted and take his game to a height never before seen Imagine Homage must be paid. Shout out to Austin Reeves. He could have been a piston. I'm sorry, Detroit. Salute to the Motor City. Y'all got, got some dogs out there, and y'all got y'all a coach. Make sure you subscribe if you want more Pistons. Laker News, Reeves, Pete K. Cunningham, you already know what it is. It's Flight Sports.